Oh, all right. <laughs> Yeah, live on Facebook. Say what's up real quick. What's going on? What's going on, Dante, Dante Nation uh, fans? Bo Mack. Bo Mack, Terrence Crawford training right here. Watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Y'all hey, see it. Y'all see it. Y'all hear it. Hear. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? Well, I'll tell you right now. The heavyweight division is really, really heating up. And I truly believe by the end of 2017, we will unequivocally know who is of the undisputed best heavyweight in the world. And possibly who is pound for pound top 10 or maybe even top five, the best fighter in the world when it comes to these heavyweights. So this past weekend, Joseph Parker, he took care of business by destroying Alexander Dimitrenko, knocked him out in three rounds. It was very easy work. Dimitrenko looked extremely slow compared to the very fast Joseph Parker. Now Joseph Parker, according to him at least, is in serious negotiations with the undefeated top contender, Andy Ruiz. Now, depending on what they do when it comes to this WBO belt, because you know right now, Tyson Fury, he's holding the WBO belt, but he will most likely be stripped. And when he does get stripped, Joseph Parker and Andy Ruiz, they will fight for that vacant belt. Now, Joseph Parker, he has a lot of options because he's the number one contender for Anthony Joshua's belt, the IBF title, and he's also the number one contender when it comes to the WBO belt. Now, since Anthony Joshua is in serious negotiations, with Vladimir Klitschko, it would make more sense and it would seem that Joseph Parker would prefer to just go ahead and fight Andy Ruiz for the WBO strap. You get that belt around your waist and then you could have even a bigger fight against the winner of Joshua versus Vladimir Klitschko which would be a unification bout. I think that's what's most likely gonna happen. But you know, when it comes to Andy Ruiz, I don't really have a lot of confidence in him until I see a signed deal. Because when it comes to Andy Ruiz, he's been really reluctant to step up in competition. Andy Ruiz, for those of you guys who don't know, he turned down um, a Luis King Kong Ortiz fight. He was negotiating with Huey Fury and he just recently pulled out of that fight. So when it comes to this Joseph Parker fight, let's just say I will believe it when I see a contract signed by Andy Ruiz. I know Joseph Parker, he has no problems at all facing Andy Ruiz, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully, what Joseph Parker said was accurate because if the fight is 95% done, then that means there's a very good chance this fight is going to come to fruition. We'll see what happens, man, but these are some great fights, great fights. Andy Ruiz and uh, Joseph Parker, as you guys probably know by now, are two of the best, some of the best undefeated prospects in the heavyweight division right now. So if this fight comes to fruition, that will be a huge fight. Now just imagine if we get that fight and we get Anthony Joshua versus Vladimir Klitschko. Man, that would be big. That would be big for the sport of boxing and definitely for the heavyweight division. So we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. Now, according to reports, they want to host the fight in Joseph Parker's uh, backyard in New Zealand when it comes to the Ruiz fight. But I don't understand that. It seems to me like that would be a bigger fight out here in the States. But, you know, I could be wrong. Who knows? I just want to see the fight happen regardless where they place the fight. So um, that's pretty much all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. This is Bobby, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Love that.